mother of four, Afro-American journalist, suffragist, editor, and early leader of the National Association of the Advancement of Colored People, sometimes seen too radical by men such as Booker T. Washington and W.E.B. Du Bois. She spent a lifetime writing about and speaking about racial equality and women's rights. But some of most fiery statements deal with the shameful practice of lynching. Here are a few of her thoughts. The people must know before they can act, and here is no educator compared to the press. Miscegenation laws of the South only operate against the legitimate union of the races. They leave the white man free to seduce all the colored girls he can. White men lynch the offended Afro-American not because he is a despoiler of virtue, but because he succumbs to the smiles of white women. There must always be a remedy for wrong and injustice if we only know how to find it. The way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. If this work can contribute in any way toward proving this and at the same time arouse the conscience of American people to demand for justice for every citizen and punishment by law for the lawless, I shall feel I have done my race a service. And finally, Ida's words, one had better die fighting against injustice than die like a dog or a rat in a trap. <laughs>